Hello everyone and welcome in today's video. I'm going to show you how to create this header. Now, not only is it just a header design, it is also sticky and when you scroll, it shrinks and you can also change the color. So this is all done using a page builder called Divi. In my opinion, it's the best page builder out there. So if you want to buy this, I also have a fantastic bonus for you. So when you buy Divi using my link in the video description below, you get a special bonus and that is my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, guys, let's get started. Let me show you how to create this header for your websites. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to head over to our main dashboard. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here and uh, click on Divi theme builder. So right now we do not have a header on our website. So let me just show you quickly what we have so far. So here we just have our normal text and our logo, but this is not a fully designed header. So this is what we're going to do in a moment. So let's go ahead now and create our header. So the header we're going to create can be done in the theme builder. Click over here where it says add global header and then build global header. We're going to build it from scratch and we are going to go with this layout right here. So over here to the left, I'm going to add an image. So this image is going to serve as our logo. So I'm going to select image and then I'm going to come over here and look for my logo. So I'm going to click here. So let's say we're going to use this logo here. I'm going to select it, upload logo. And here it is. All right, fantastic. So now that we have our logo all set, I'm going to save this for now and then over here, we're going to add our menu. So I'm going to search for my menu and here it is. Great. I'm going to save this, move on to the last item here. And this is where we are going to add our call to action button. So I'm going to select this. I'm just going to say download. So that's my text here. And then I'm just going to add a blank link. Next, I'm going to come over here to design and I'm just going to align this to the center and then I'm going to go into the button and customize it. So I'm going to activate use custom styles for button and for the size, I'm just going to reduce this a little bit like that. And then I'm going to come over here to the button background, make it transparent, or we can actually choose a color. So in fact, let's go with that and let's also have our text color and for our border width, I'm going to add it like that. So, so far, so good. Everything seems okay. Now let's customize the text. So I'm going to choose my font and my font here is going to be Poppins and I'm going to make it all caps. So I can see here my size is still too big and my button now is spanning over two lines. So let's reduce the size a little bit more to about 12 pixels. All right. So I'm going to save this now. Uh, the next step now is to come over here to my section settings, go to design and come over here to spacing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my top and bottom margins and then save. And in fact, you know what, while I'm here, let's give this a background color. So the color I'm going to go with is this color here. Okay. That's going to be my background color, right? So. As you can see, we have a lot of space around our content here. So let's go in and fix that. So I'm going to come to my row settings, design, and then I'm going to go into spacing. So just like how I did before, go to the padding. So this time I'm just going to add zero both to the top and the bottom. So I've just removed a lot of space there. All right. So we're going to save this. Now let's go into our main menu. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to go to the background and remove the background. Okay, next I'm going to come over here to my menu text and I'm just going to make my text here all caps. I am going to choose poppins and I'm also going to choose my color here. So my active color can be this color right here and then my menu text color is going to be this. Okay, so so far everything is uh, looking great. So I need to align this over to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to select my text alignment. So as you can see, now it's closer to the button itself. Okay, so, so far so good, but uh, I can see here we have a problem. So as you can see here, everything is not in a straight line. So we need to add a bit of some CSS code for this to all work. 
So what we need to do here is to add a bit of CSS code. So I'm going to paste it in here like that. So now you can see everything is all aligned and everything looks great. Okay, so now that I have my CSS code, the next part now is to further customize this and uh, make it look much better. So to do this, we're going to go into our row settings. So let's set our width here by coming over here to sizing. So at the moment, our width is set to 80%. So... I need to do our maximum width here as well. So I'm going to set that to 90 90% uh, and also 90% here. Okay, let's save and take a look at this now. So, so far, I think everything looks great, but I can see there's a bit of padding still. So let's fix this by coming over here to all our elements. So I'm going to start here with my main uh, menu settings. Click on design. And then I'm going to come over here to spacing. So I'm going to set my padding here as well to zero save that and then over here on my section settings now i'm just going to go in and also do the same but this time i'm just adjusting this to see uh how what this looks like so right now it's on zero pixels as you can see so perhaps maybe that could be something i'm happy with and to be honest i don't think that is bad at all so i'm going to save this now close out of here save and exit so let's take a quick look here and see what this looks like so far. So this is the header that we have. So now let's replace this with this one that we've just built. So I'm going to hit save changes. And now when I come over here and refresh, you can see now that it has changed. So when I start scrolling, you may notice that it disappears there at the top. So if you want to make it fixed, there's also a way to go in and make this header fixed. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to come back over here to my main header. So to make it fixed, you want to click here on uh, your section settings, advanced, scroll effects. And this is where you want to uh, make sure you set it to stick to top. So now that I've set it to stick to top, I can always save, save one more time. And let's refresh and see if this is going to work now. Okay, so now when I scroll, you can see here that it is now stuck to the top. That is fantastic. So what if we want to make the header shrink a little bit as we are scrolling up and down or perhaps even change the color? So let me show you how to do that as well. Okay, so let's go back here and uh, let's work on this. So first of all, uh, I want to make sure that our logo here when clicked is going to link to the home page. So to do that, you want to come over here to the link and click here on these little um, discs. So this is dynamic. So what you can do now is you can set this to the home page link. Great. Back over here on the image, we want to further customize this because the logo here looks a bit too big. So let's go in and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and I'm just going to reduce this to about say 80% like that. Okay, so the size here looks much better. So what we need to do is to go back into our section settings, design, spacing. So here we have uh, zero. So let's add one so that we can see the difference when we shrink it. So what we can do now is we can click on this sticky icon, click on sticky, and now we can set this to zero. So that is what is going to happen when we are scrolling. So that's going to be the size. This is going to be the default. That's going to be the after. Okay. So what we can also do as well is to change the background color. So I'm going to come over here to content, go to background. And again, I'm going to stick on, click on this sticky item. Now for the sticky color, I can choose a totally different color. So let's go with this color right here and save. I'm going to save one more time. Now, when we go to our site, if I hit refresh, take a quick look and see what happens when I start scrolling. So you can see here it's shrinking, but the color is not changing. So I think something is happening here. Let's go in and fix it. So I'm going to go back. So you know what? Let's change this background color so uh, we can noticeably see the change in transition. So I'm going to go with this dark color here. Save. I'm going to save this one more time. Okay, so let's take a look now at our final design. So over here, I'm going to now scroll and you can see now that we have the transition and the size is also shrinking. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this on this dark background, but uh, let's go in and let me change this uh, background that we have right here. 
So to change this design, I'm going to click on this plus button and I'm just going to go with a different design. So the one I'm going to go with is something which is a bit light because we have a really dark uh, header. So I'm going to go with this one here. Use this layout. Okay, so I've uh, installed the pre-made layout. So now let's take a look at the final design. So when I scroll, you can see here that it is shrinking and the color is changing. So that is how you create a sticky header. So go ahead, try it out and see if it works for you. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. Take care.